One of the impacts of climate change is sea level rise. This is the gradual rise in the level of the surface of the sea with respect to the land. This is associated with two phenomena, thermal expansion, where as the ocean water gets warmer, it expands and contributes to rising sea levels. And then there is the ice sheet and glacier melt, which is when the warmer temperatures are causing the melting of glaciers and polar ice, releasing more water into the oceans. And so as the earth continues to warm, it is expected that sea level will continue to rise, affecting everyone on earth. But the most vulnerable are small island developing states, including Caribbean countries like Belize. In Belize, you have a lot of coastal communities, you know, uh, in our country. For example, in the north, you have Corozal town that is at bay. We have also Belize city, you know, which is uh, very close. To, uh, the sea is in front of us and also it's, the, the city is below sea level. And then farther down south, we have Dangriga, we have Hopkins, we have Placencia, and then we have Monkey River, you know, which are being affected by you know, sea level rise and different coastal related processes related to climate change. One of the most visible signs of sea level rise is erosion in southern Belize from Dangriga to Hopkins to Monkey River. Chunks of land are being washed away. As the rising seas continue to swell, it means that people will be displaced, livelihoods will be destroyed as key industries like tourism and agriculture are likely to be severely impacted. Even wetlands are at risk because higher sea level rise can bring about vegetation changes and distress spawning fish stocks which grow in wetland areas. Freshwater sources are also likely to be affected by rising sea levels. Sea level rise has been on the increase. Um, we've been seeing a lot of erosion. It's been happening in Belize and in other countries. Um, currently, there aren't many studies in the region to say exactly what is happening. This, needs, this capacity needs to be increased as well. We can have saltwater intrusion. That's another consequence of sea level rise. Um, that's one of the main ones, especially on small islands. Um, you know, their fresh water can get contaminated and with salt water, and then it can increase costs of, you know, um, of getting fresh water to the island. We can have flooding in the areas, um, storm surge. And so now climate change experts want to find out just how much sea level rise affects Belize. But data is limited and technical officers lack the skills to do predictive models. So this week, 20 participants are attending a workshop to learn how to do assessments and to use data to come up with a more accurate baseline of sea level rise risks to Belize. This will help to strengthen Belize's response. On our end, there's more research to be done to try to measure the rate of sea level rise and also to see what is basically their impacts to, uh, to the communities, you know. And this is the first step uh, through this workshop that we're trying to, you know, develop that knowledge, you know. Because what we have right now is we have uh, reports that are basically general, you know, so um, for the Caribbean region and for the world when it comes to sea level rise. Basically, the model is, uh, is a computer program where you input uh, the sea level information, and therefore, it, it then once that is entered, then it makes a, a mathematical computation within the model, and then that mo model basically generates a scenario. So that is basically what we're trying to do here as well, you know, with the limited information that we have, you know, from the relevant stakeholders. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.